Hello to FCA football partners. Uh, first, I want to say thank you for continuing to support FCA football through your prayers, through your financial support. Uh, I trust that you're doing well and God's grace is evident in your life. Um, so again, thanks for being part of this team. It's been a while video-wise since I've reached out to you. I've sent some things in the mail, email, those kind of things. We wanted to send another video just to be able to talk with you a little bit about what the Lord's doing. In fact, the last video was kind of early on in the whole COVID and uh, by having to stay home and those kind of things. And uh, in the midst of that, I just want to let you know, God's gospel cannot be stopped. The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ cannot be stopped no matter what. Uh, in the first few weeks of COVID, we began two Zoom Bible studies. Tuesday morning, Thursday morning, and we had coaches from over 21 different states be involved in those Bible studies during the quarantine for most people throughout the spring, even early su summer. And even one of those Bible studies is still going because the coaches are able to connect around God's word. So praise God for that. And another thing that happened is we began something called the Heart of the Coach, where there's over 30 uh, videos we did um, through Zoom. Uh, with coaches where we interviewed coaches, high school, college, and professional coaches about faith, family, and football and how the relationship with Jesus Christ impacted them as a husband and father and as a coach and how it impacted their coaching style, how they interact related with their other coaches and players. And we had hundreds and hundreds of coaches from all over the country country from Connecticut to California. We even had a guy from Ireland begin to get on these calls and listen in and be encouraged and challenged how they could better uh, minister to their uh, players and to their coaches as, as football coaches. Uh, so nothing can stop the gospel. God's enabled us to continue to engage, equip, and empower football coaches all over the place. And in fact, uh, not, I'm not glad that people got sick from COVID but in some ways, if it wasn't for the COVID and the quarantine things we all went through, we would never had an opportunity to minister to some of the coaches we got to minister to and encourage them in their relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So thank you for helping us do that. Another great thing has happened during that time. Uh, uh, I got a partnership. Many of you may receive this in the mail, a partnership with Moody. And they have a study called Today in the Word, and they have different books of the Bible they've already done. Thir this one's 30 Days Through the Gospel of John. If you didn't receive this in the mail with a letter from me, uh, please let reach out to me. I'll make sure you get one. You should have received one. But it's, it's Who is Jesus? A, a study in the Gospel of John. And we repackaged it and put a couple of stories about um, uh, Tom Allen, who's the head coach of Indiana, and, and, and Benjamin Watson, who just retired after 16 years in the NFL as a tight end. Uh, put those in the front of that so people be encouraged as, as seeing what God's doing in their life. And then 30 days going through the through the Gospel of John. And the great thing about the Gospel of John is it states its purpose in 2031. These things have been written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and by believing have life in his name. So the fact that people are going to be going through the Gospel of John, and that's the purpose, and John never varies from his purpose. In fact, 98 different times he uses the word believe. He wants people to believe, to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ as the Messiah, as the Son of God, as their Savior, so they may have life. And we're praying that's going to happen. In fact, we've shipped out now over 3,000 copies of this study to college and high school teams, coaching staffs, individual coaches, and people are using it all over the country. And, and God is doing great things. In fact, this month I'm going through this study with coaches from uh, 22 different states uh, on in, in Zoom calls early in the morning, three different mornings a week. Uh, we also just heard today, in fact, of a coach at a major university let me know that two of his players had trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ. They believed upon the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior this week, and they're using this study in the Gospel of John. God is using his word to reach coaches and athletes, football coaches and athletes, with the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Gospel. Thanks for helping us do that. Keep praying. I asked in the letter I sent with this that you would pray that God would use this study to impact the, the lives of many, many, many football coaches and athletes all across our country. So thanks again for all you're doing. Thank, keep praying for us. Um, please let me know any way I can pray for you. And if you didn't get a copy of this study, please let me know. and We'll make sure we put one in the mail to you. God bless. Have a great day.